In this video, I'm going to toss out all technical analysis knowledge that I have and use a coin to determine whether I go long or short. Yesterday, I did manage to make 10% on the account, so let's see how today goes. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. So the whole goal of this video is to be entertaining and to do something fun and new, but the secondary reason is also to teach you risk management. There is no amount of day trading that you can do on a consistent basis without risk management. Absolutely having concrete numbers of take profit and stop loss and absolutely having concrete numbers of risk to reward ratio. So if you're risking 1% per trade, your take profit should be 2% or more. London Open is about to happen in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna do a brief discussion on risk management and then place a trade based on what the coin tells me to do. I'm gonna leave that right there because it's, it's pretty dangerous and high value. I had a lot of people ask in the comment section how much they could buy that coin for. All right, so a lot of people had the misconception of what I was explaining yesterday with a 50% win rate on your day trading, whether you're demoing it, whether you're doing it on a live account, whether you're back testing it, a 50% win rate is still gonna keep you profitable depending on your risk to reward ratio. I was using a coin to say that I have a 50-50 chance of getting it right, whether it's going up or whether it's going down. I know that if you take into consideration the coin flip with my one to two risk to reward ratio and going long or short, there's a far substantially less chance that I'm 50-50. It's like 21.87%, but that's not what I was getting at. I was talking about a 50-50 chance of getting it right, whether the price is going up or down, and then I wanted to discuss the 50% win rate. Just to clarify this again, if you take 10 trades and half of them lose and half of them win, risking 1% on a $1,000 account, you will be in profit 5%. That's what I was getting at. It has nothing to do with my coin flip. This is entertainment. This is what I'm trying to teach. The reason I'm doing it this way is because every single risk management video that I did has the lowest views of any video across my channel, and yet it is one of the most important aspects of day trading. That being said, if you trade every single day in the 20 days that are available to trade each month, and you have a 50% win rate on the strategy that you're testing or that you're demoing, that means that you have 10 wins and 10 losses every single month. Now, given the example I gave earlier where you have a $1,000 account, trading 20 days is going to give you $200 worth of winning trades and negative $100 of losing trades, which is gonna bring your grand total for the month to $100 in profit. That's 10%. Multiply that by 12 months, you're looking at $1,200 in profit at the end of the year. Now that's with a $1,000 account. If you are going smaller and you wanna start an account with $100 and you stay consistent, you can profit $120 by the end of the year. Or if you go with a funded account with $100,000 after 12 months, you could have $120,000 in profit using the exact same strategy, just a different account size and a 50% win rate strategy. Now keep in mind, if it's a 50% win rate strategy, that doesn't mean that you're gonna equally win one and then lose another and then win one and then lose another you could lose 25 trades in a row and then win the next 25. It's about staying consistent and not letting the losses get to you because when most people have three losses in a row, they ditch that strategy. No matter how hard they back tested it and have the proven results, they will ditch the strategy after three or four losses in a row and look for the next best thing. All right, so London Open is about to start in two minutes, so let's flip ye old coin and see what she says. Going long again. Literally not lifting it, just sliding it. I don't know if you could see that. Maybe. It, just, it, sa it says L, okay? Long. I'm not lying. I'm using a coin. 
hope it works. After I click this buy button, I'm going to immediately adjust the trade, setting my stop loss at 10 pips and my take profit at 20 pips. And five, four, three, two, one. And that's the alarm. All right, the entry price is going to be 35597. So stop loss is going to be 35497 and take profit is going to be 797. All right, so while this trade is playing out, I want to talk a little bit more about risk management and how only risking 1% per trade will give you more longevity with your account. This is the most important part because most traders like to over leverage and over risk trying to get that big money on a small account. Say you have a $100 account and you wanna make 40 or $50 and so you over risk your trade. Instead of growing slowly and consistently, you're willing to lose 40, 50, $100 in one single trade which blows your account. But if you risk 1% per trade, theoretically you can never go down to zero. But if you keep it consistent and risk, you know, $10 per trade on a $1,000 account, that means that you could lose 100 times in a row before your account is at zero. Now, you really got to suck to lose 100 times in a row and or your strategy just is not good. But if it's that not good, do the opposite and you'll win 100 times in a row. What I'm truly genuinely hoping for this challenge is that because I'm doing it for four days, I would like two wins and two losses to show you guys that even if I lose half of the time out of these four days, I will still be in profit. And the best part about winning yesterday is that I went up 10% in my account, correct? I had a $1,000 account. I won $100. That means that with me risking 5% per trade, if I lose back to back the next two trades, my account is at break even minus the commissions and fees. Also, what I suggest you do is after you've entered your trade with a take profit and a stop loss, if you have trouble emotionally watching a trade play out, what you should do is close your laptop and leave. Go on a walk, go eat some lunch, read a book, whatever, you know, interests you. Do not sit here and stare at it and watch it like dip up, dip down, dip up, dip down. And you like start to like panic and oh, it's close to take profit. Oh, it's too close to stop loss and you close it early or whatever you might do. What you're doing is messing with your system, messing with your strategy. You should be an emotionless stone cold killer. Enter trade, take profit, stop loss, and just New traders, unfortunately, do not have the ability to do that because they don't have the consistency and the confidence in their trading. That emotionless John Wick cyborg day trader, that comes with a lot of experience and a lot of losses. All right, so the trade has played out and we have hit stop loss on this trade. I have been in the office all day and I could not help do just a smidge of technical analysis. And when I saw it break this trend line up here after reaching this double top, I knew that it was game over. I really wanted to close it up here because I still would have been in profit, but because I'm sticking to the strategy, I lost the trade. So because it spiked down so rapidly, it actually had a loss of $55 and closed at 487, even though my stop loss was at 497. So that's, uh, that's what happens when you deal with volatility. So overall, I am up on the account. I have $38 in profit on a $1,000 account, but because I knew it was gonna be New York open, I did something really sneaky on my personal account. So here you go.
anyway, I hope you guys were entertained by this video. I sure was. It was fun to film. And if you guys want to learn more about this trend line thing that I'm talking about, check out this video right here. Be sure to drop a like if you like this video and subscribe if you have not already. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.